Hiya, it's Bob Wormsley here from Insidium. It's Top Tip Tuesday time, and today I've got a really good one for you. We're going to be taking a cached particle sim, and we're going to use that to spawn fresh new particles to pump loads more particle resolution and detail into our scene. So let's get that clock started, and we'll get going. In our scene, we've got an Exposure Effects object here in the default settings, and we're viewing, if we look in the Display tab, at the temperature channel of this sim. We're getting a sim because we've got a scene sphere here with an Exposure Effects source tag on it. This is all default, and it's giving us this smoke and fire sim, and we're viewing that temperature channel. Now, we want to advect some particles using this, so let's go to our emitters. Let's go to Create Emitter, and we want to emit from the same sphere. So let's go to the Object tab of the emitter, and we'll go to Object Mode, drag in the sphere, and we'll emit from the polygon area. In the Emission tab, we'll keep it on Rate, but let look. Let, we don't need to emit all frames. Let's do, say, 0 to 50. We don't need full lifespan. Let's say 50 frames with maybe... 20 variation and we don't definitely don't need a thousand particles per frame let's put this way down to just 10 and we can remove all of the speed now this is going to be advected because we can see it's being moved around by our simulation and that's happening because in our exposure effects object in the advection tab this is active okay so that is happening as expected. And if we make the exposure effects invisible now, so we don't see it, we can see that sim moving around our particles. So what we're going to do is get this cached up. So let's go to Utilities, Cache. We'll cache to external files. This is just being saved to a folder in My Documents. Let's build that cache. Now this technique is great because you can take old cached scenes that has advection and you can create much more detailed versions of that with millions of particles based on that cached data without having to start from scratch. It also enables us to fill out simulations that you can't do without this technique. So now we have got cached advected particles and a cached exposure effects object. So let's spawn from these particles. To do that, we need a modifier. Let's go to the modifiers, generate modifiers, and we're going to bring in an XP spawn. Here it is. This requires a new emitter, so we can add one just by clicking on this Add Emitter button here. So let's do that, Add Emitter. We'll call this emitter, Emitter Spawn. Oops, Spawn. And then in our Display tab of this emitter, Let's do a couple of things. We can disable Draw Emitter, which will get rid of that red square. And we're going to have loads of particles, so let's make these really tiny. We'll make them dots. The new particles will give them a gradient parameter to color them. So gradient parameter. And we will load a preset. I've got a nice purple one in this presets list. Let's load this. And we're going to map this gradient to the particle speed. And it's saying, let's put 200 at max. So it's saying that when particles are going 0 centimeters per second, they'll be dark purple. When they are going 200, they'll be lilac. And we can maybe make that 10 for the minimum. Okay, now we control our particles. Let's go to the emission tab of the spawned particles. We don't need any speed, so let's take that off. And we don't need them to have a full lifespan. We can say just live for maybe 50 frames with 25 variation. Okay, so that's that. Now we set how many particles are spawned and where they're spawned from from within the spawn modifier. So let's go into the XP spawn settings. We can leave everything pretty much default. We're going to be spawning the particles from the original particles position. That's our cached ones. And we want everything to be the same, but we don't need 300 per frame just yet because that's an awful lot. Let's just put this way down to just 10. And then we'll hit play. And you'll see that, yes, look, we're getting spawned particles from the position of our advected ones. And they're moving in the same way because the new spawned particles 
are being advected by the same cached exposure effects sim so that's really useful and if we hit this now we're getting this really cool look it's really filled out and fleshed out because we have spawned them continually until those advected ones have died and if we go to our xp spawn settings and we up this amount to say 50 now we're going to have loads more particles it's obviously going to slow down a little because we've got so many particles being birthed in our scene but let's just move it forward a few frames till we get to a nice kind of thick point maybe there we'll make our original emitter invisible and if i just dolly in now you'll see we've got a huge amount of particles in this scene it's incredibly detailed let's go to our emitter spawn display tab and we'll go to our hood show hood and that will show us look yeah we've got uh, almost 900,000 particles there so we could pump in millions and millions of particles into this pre-cached scene uh, just by going to our xp spawn and increasing the amount of spawn number and once you're happy you can recache with the new particles and you'll have a new cached scene